Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a tier 10 game in my tier 9 Fletcher. Uh, going over the matchmaking, looking at an enemy midway, Des Moines, Baltimore rounding out the uh, carrier and CV threat to me. Enemy DDs, kind of nasty. A um, pair of gearings and a pair of Kitakazes. Both both of the destroyers not really something you want to run into in a Fletcher <clears throat> so we spawn over uh, on the uh, northwest side of the map on hot spot we're gonna head to a cap and I'm just kinda checking things out here seeing what's going on with my team Now, kind of my initial game plan is I'm going to push up into A cap and basically lay a line of smoke into A. Uh, one thing to note about my Fletcher build, I am running the uh, extended uh, smoke upgrade. Uh, it basically adds nine seconds to my smoke and costs me uh, a couple seconds uh, at the end of the smoke and uh, still testing it out seeing if I, it's something that I want to run on these US destroyers or, or ships that have longer uh, duration smokes I know they're perfect on things like Haida uh, things where uh, your smokes last really long the US destroyers this extra nine seconds of smoke I mean you can see just how long a smoke you can lay here. I've got another 20 seconds to go after this. Um, I mean, you can really get down here and uh, lay a good uh, solid smoke screen. And this is this is why I wanted to lay this smoke screen. Is basically it's going to give this Cleveland a chance just to sit in this uh, in that smoke back there he's out of radar range he's able to cycle through uh, his AA and just shoot down in plane planes in peace if uh, the cap gets contested he can push right up near the cap and be able to radar it Got an enemy, uh, I think that's a Kutuzov, that's just blind firing into the area trying to reset me, and just not working. I'm not gonna do anything crazy until, uh, until I make sure I get this cap. Uh, the Cleveland does radar the gearing, that lets me know where one of the destroyers is over here had the Kitakaze south of the cap now what I'm doing here I am reversing well out of the cap I basically don't want to risk turning turning out right in here because this is a torpedo alley um, so I mean there's a Kitakaze and you're gonna see what I'm what I'm talking about if I would have just turned right out right in here well, I'm being a potato I should have been turning already I was cutting it close I should have turned beyond behind this island and I got focused on the planes coming in uh, getting my AA focused on those guys but really should have been turning you know before this ledge right here to to shield me from torpedoes unfortunately we've got a destroyer that's pushing into the cap right now and uh, my Cleveland is he's dead uh, he's caught bow in and there's just too many battleships back here that are gonna pound him So, 
that's a radar gone at A, and nothing I can really do about it. I'm not going to push into the cap and, and try to contest it. If you look, my enemy, uh, my team is starting to go heavy 1-2, and they're just going to get run over here. Uh, Conquer, uh, Kitakaze, Alsace, Yamato, Gearing. I mean, you have so much stuff rolling around out there versus, you know, one half-dead Musashi, a Gearing, and an Amagi. It's, it's one of those things, basic arithmetic tells you, you can't, you can't do that. It's not going to work. No matter how skilled player you are at those ranges, they're gonna, they're just gonna run you over. Even, even if those battleships just start shooting HE, you're, you're toast. So instead, I want to wrap around in the mid and basically hooking up with this conqueror and uh, see if I can do something on the back side of A. So, jump in this Kitakaze. I go on head smoke up. I, I don't want to sit here and have a, you know, a protracted gunfight with a Kitakaze. It's just not, that's just not going to work out in my favor. Having some interesting dispersion. But at this point, my gearing's dead. And you see just how fast the one two line collapsed. I mean why'd that gearing push in? Just run for, for the A line even. You know, you can sit there and just keep torping back in as the as the enemy team tries to wrap around this island. They're gonna have to turn in to get the B cap, so instead just just sail north and just torp these guys, you know, as they're trying to cut over and that's really nasty for enemy team or for a team to try to deal with you got a destroyer torping your broadside it's it's the nastiest angle that uh you've got to deal with with your battleships and cruisers stuff like that uh, you can rack up an absolutely disgusting amount of damage right here i'm trying to get closer to the conqueror want to be able to try to help him with my aa Because we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to do something. Cause this game's starting to get hard. The enemy team has a good head of steam over at A. Uh, now we do have a decent amount of momentum coming out of D cap. So I'm looking at at the mini map. That's actually a misclick, but that's good information that there's nothing in here, nothing in here that can spot me. Um, I'm calling out the radar target. But what I'm looking to do is, okay, we've got this big force up here. We've got these guys that are almost into C cap. You know what? It's not worth it for me to go to C. I'm going to turn around and... Uh, uh, sail up now this Baltimore's making a misplay. He's too exposed uh, Really cut cutting across in the mid here is extremely dangerous and uh, It's it's not something I recommend for cruisers unless you're You're absolutely sure that you're not gonna get caught And in this case, he's pushing right into the battleships, and 
I mean, I can't catch up to this guy and smoke him. He's, you know, he's just dead. So, instead I want to focus on what I can do to uh, help my team. That Kitakaze gets hit hard. Uh, I mean, this Baltimore, he, he's sailing flat broadside to all of these battleships. He's going to be going down soon. I don't know why you uh, wouldn't turn into the island, but, you know, say la vie. Um, <clears throat> Just taking some shots right now try to uh, get as many ships as I can down having some really interesting issues with my guns this game not really sure why honestly Just taking a look at battleships, seeing what's what, and uh, this conqueror is pushing into my t my team in the middle of the map. So I'm I just am kind of thinking that he's the bigger threat. So I'm gonna go after him, and I just launched one set of torps. I'm I'm doing that because you know I wanted to see if you know that guy's got you know his repair on cooldown basically see if I could kill him with one set of torps he's got his BS heal up and uh, he's gonna need both sets of torps so I go on ahead and uh, just go into town on him and get a little bit of good fire RNG there honestly should have been on the uh, the Kitakaze here uh, I just noticed that he popped up. I was looking more towards the Yamato when the game was being played. But I see the Kitakaze. Finish him. Dodge the Torps. And at this point we're starting to claw this game back. I'm looking around to see if there's anything that maybe could spot me if I start shooting here. I decide to go on ahead and risk it. I do have, you know, a decent amount of hit points. And just want to, you know, make this Yamato think that, you know, he's not safe. You know, just reversing back into the cap. get a little bit of chip damage on him and you know that that move there sent that Yamato scurrying right out of the cap and exposes him more for my friendly Kitakaze more for my conqueror and uh, that's gonna help us finish this guy off It's one of those things, these close games, it's really important for you to prioritize the low health targets. I, you know, that one Kitakaze sailing around up here, I really should have jumped on that guy, you know, one, two volleys sooner, uh, just to make sure I get that guy off the board. If this guy would be able to disappear behind the island, he'd be, you know, that much harder to deal with. Uh, here we got low health Yamato. I'm I'm just looking to to finish this guy off. I'm willing to trade some hit points to do it. I don't want this guy to to sit there and be able to to disengage, heal up, uh, 
so any sort of DPM I can I can get down on this guy is pretty good he's broadside to me so AP uh, is a pretty solid uh, choice Now if you looked, I'm going to pause it right there because that was kind of neat. If you looked when I was laying this, I'm just going to replay it because this is something that I, a little trick that I think you guys can, might be able to use dealing with uh, uh, carrier planes. But you see right here, even though I'm, I'm shooting at the planes, because I have my smoke screen between me and the planes, I'm not detected. I'm able to shoot down these planes just like I was inside of uh, inside of the smoke. This Baltimore has ran outside of my maximum gun range, so even though I was shooting at the Yamato, nothing can detect me, and that's giving you know time for my defensive fire. Uh, it's giving me time for this to to work and. This is uh, can be another application for that uh, longer duration smoke. Uh, you know, it. You look. This is this is. It looks like not a lot of smoke. I wasn't moving really fast here when I started this out. Um, but that extra nine seconds, you can do things like create, you know, a little barrier between you and uh, and the carrier planes, where you can you know let your AA have that few extra seconds to shoot now in this case he f he overshoots me and now if he comes back to reattack you know he's right back into the the same situation where he's got to try to attack right back through my AA so just uh this is a little something that even I noticed um, play in this game was I noticed what happened when I had the smoke in between me and the planes and uh, even though it, it basically acted like a smoke curtain and I'm not I know there's been a lot of changes made to how carriers d can detect things around islands or over um, or with smoke screens and it appears to me that, um, you know, it, it, I, it's pretty clear that, that those planes were within two kilometers of me. They weren't spotting me. So, you know, your smoke will still act as a line of sight break for the, the planes. And you can use that to, uh, to your advantage to create that situation where they can't attack you. You can attack them. And, uh in the event with this build um, that extra nine seconds of smoke helped me you know shoot down a couple extra planes and maybe avoid a, a drop that might have killed me uh, so little little something to to explore and look at think about um, as you know everybody's trying to adjust to, to the new carriers uh, I'm starting to hit a point where I feel pretty comfortable with them. Um, so, you know, this was this was just another little something that wasn't something that I intended to do, but it's it happened. I noticed it happened, and uh, it's something that I can store in the back of my mind and potentially use that to uh, uh, to help me out later on in the game. So. Uh, end of the game, 103,000 damage. Uh, honestly, these were more of the uh, the important things. Polishing up these low health destroyers, we got to a point where we were pretty low uh, low on ships. If these guys would have been able to get into, you know, uh, get in behind the team, back cap, and it could just be a pain in the ass. So, 
you know, getting these guys down was a really big thing for our team. Uh, killing this Conqueror was nice. That that jerked a lot of teeth out of the enemy team. Um, but all in all, this was just a, a decent game with the Fletcher. Uh, it's a ship that I, I feel is been power creeped a bit and I've I've had some people uh, request videos because you know they're they're struggling with the ship uh, and it's this ship in particular that's causing a lot of uh, a lot of the issues with uh, with Fletcher so wanted to kind of you know walk you through those engagements how I wasn't I didn't want to take a, a fight head-on with these guys but uh, in the case of, of the first one, uh, his smoke was down, he was exposed, so just instantly smoking back up and uh, getting, you know, a good chunk of damage done on him. And, uh, you know, anytime I, I got a chance to get in and get some damage on these guys, you know, getting it done. Um, so, yeah, the another Fletcher game uh, if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below uh, and I will talk to you guys later hope you guys are having a good night